double crusted chicken pot pies. Let's get started. You want to start by combining your sour cream and your beaten egg. Once it's combined, you want to cover it and place it in the fridge until you're ready for it. Next, I'm fluffing my flour into my measuring cup so that the crust isn't so dense. Now you want to add your salt and whisk. I whisk for about a good two minutes. Next, you want to add cold diced butter. And because we're not using a food processor, we're going to cut the butter into piece-sized pieces. We want to make sure the butter stays cold, so once you're done, pop it back in the fridge for 5 minutes. Next, you're going to add half of your sour cream mixture and combine that. Once it's mixed, you want to add the remaining sour cream mixture. Go ahead, flour your board, and lay out that dough mixture. You want to mold it into a ball so that we can cut it into 4 pieces. Once you have your four pieces cut, you want to shape them into discs, wrap them, and place them in the fridge for about an hour. After the hour's up, you're going to take them out of the fridge, let them sit for 10 minutes, and then roll them out into eight inch circles. Now I'm using a six and a half inch pie pan, so I'm going to roll these out to be about eight inches. And you don't want to push the crust to the bottom, you want to let it settle in. Once you're done, go ahead and cover it and refrigerate it until we're done with the filling. Now, we're going to go ahead and roll out two 7.5 inch top crusts, cover and refrigerate them. Now let's start on the filling. You want to melt your butter, add your celery, carrots, and onion, and cook that for about 6 minutes. Next, add 6 tablespoons of flour and cook that for about 2 minutes until it's golden brown. Then you're going to add your chicken broth in your half and half, and you're going to cook that until it starts to boil. Next, add your one potato, your one teaspoon of thyme, and cook for about eight minutes until it's nice and thick. Take it off the heat and add your chicken and your peas. You want this to completely cool before you add it to your dough. After your pies are filled, you want to place that seven and a half inch top crust on top and trim it to make it nice and even. These pie pans made it so easy to shape my crust. I have them listed in the description of this video. Next, you're going to cut four two-inch slices on top to make sure that we release some of that steam while it's cooking. Lastly, brush with egg wash and bake at 450 for 18 to 20 minutes. Then you're going to drop to 375, rotate the pan, and cook for 10 to 12 more minutes. This was so easy and so good, and it just goes to show you don't need fancy equipment to make good food. Enjoy!